so excited to get started and to eventually meet this beautiful little girl, Taya. Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. My name is Kiani, and today I'm going to be doing a video on Compassion International. If you haven't already heard about Compassion International, it is basically just a Christian organization that offers sponsorship to children around the world, but also locally. They work with local churches to provide development for all types of children, whether that means in the home making sure that they get the resources that they need, making sure they get food, making sure that they are getting proper education, things like that. So the way it works is they, they do one-on-one -on -one sponsorship. Basically what that just means is that when there's a, a specific child in a specific country, um, once that child gets paired up with the sponsor, that's it, that's their sponsor. And they're not gonna get a different one. So there's not like two sponsors for one child, there's not three sponsors for one child, there's only one sponsor for one child, which makes it really special because they really begin to know your name, they begin to know who you are and what kind of life you have. Things like family members and the things that you do in your own life, it becomes really special to them. And I've gone on mission trips in Nicaragua and the ministry we work with, the New Day Ministry, they also have a sponsorship program and every time we go down there, they talk about how their sponsors, which is what we call them are really like godparents for them. It's something really special. So um, I was really excited to get an opportunity to work with Compassion International. So now I'll get into like how I got involved with it. One day I went to the PIA tour, the Poets in Autumn tour. It's basically a Christian spoken word tour. If you have not seen it and you're into that type of stuff, you have to go. It's so amazing. But anyways, in the middle of their show, they started talking about Compassion International and how a few of them have started to sponsor a child through that organization. Now, let me just say, I'm really skeptical about organizations like this because sometimes these organizations are sketchy and um, they'll be taking your money, they'll tell you they're doing one thing with it, but really they're doing something completely different. And I don't know, that's just like really weird to me. and. Usually there's not really many ways to tell what they are doing with your money. But I do know a few people who have done this sponsorship through this organization, people that I trust, and they say that everything is genuine. And then what's different about this organization is that they offer kind of like mission trips where you can go out into the country wherever your sponsored child lives and just kind of see what it's like for them living there. You can go and visit them and their family and hang out with them. So it's not like they're just making up this child and you just don't get to get information about them. You don't get to even have the opportunity to meet them. So I thought that was really cool, especially since I'm one to go on mission trips. I love that type of stuff. So at the Poets in Autumn tour, I went and as soon as they mentioned it, I ran downstairs to sign up because this is my thing. So what they gave me is this little picture of my angel baby. Her name is Taya. She is four years old. Her birthday is actually coming up next month, so that's exciting. She's from Ethiopia and she's so adorable. Oh my gosh. They had, when I went downstairs at the tour, they had all these, all different envelopes and stuff and they all had pictures, and I'm like, I definitely want a little girl, but um, I don't know like which one, and I kind of felt bad choosing. Like, here's all these kids who need help with education, with food, whatever, and I'm supposed to just pick one. Some people did go ahead and choose more than one, but this is $38 a month, so I'm like, mm, I think I'm gonna stick with one for now. But anyway, so I saw her cute little face and I'm like, this is the one right here. So I went and I signed up, I put my information down, and it was a paper application, which meant it was going to take forever for them to collect everyone's stuff and then send it in to the company and then they had to process it and prove things and all this stuff. So I had to wait maybe about, I'd say three weeks, which felt like forever. 
But finally, a few weeks ago, I got the uh, long-awaited package. And it's this personalized sponsorship book all about Taya's life and um, just like where she's from, what the culture is like, what their language is, um, total population, life expectancy, religion, stuff like that. Um, this company offers opportunities for you to write to the kids as well. And so um, I already sent mine out, but they sent like a template for your first letter. It basically was just an opportunity to tell your kid about your family and about you and the things that you love to do, your relationship with God and what he's been doing in your life and things like that. So I sent mine out. I'm so excited. They also have an app that you can download that's actually really cool. Um, it has a lot of this information on it too. It shares like information about their country and about themselves. Also what was in here is a letter that she, I think what happens is um, they gather all the kids together and they have them write like basic information that most sponsors would want to know. And so that's what they had in here. She actually wrote down um, like some of her favorite things to do. She wrote down people that she would like for me to pray for when she chose her sister that was really sweet um what else she talked about her home life and who she lives with um just stuff like that basic information and so they allow you at any point any point you could send five letters a day and they'll let you do that you could send letters to them um they don't send letters back that frequently I think it's like only two or three times maybe a year and then they send pictures every once in a while um, but they do respond to your letters it's just kind of hard to frequently send mail um, from countries that that don't generally send a lot of mail if that makes sense so yeah I'm really excited to get started on this and as I mentioned before they do have the service trips the mission trips where you can go out and see them and I absolutely plan to go to Ethiopia and visit this little girl um, I think it's a little harder with kids who are really young like I said she's four so I'm sure she doesn't really grasp what's going on but I just feel like when I'm able to meet her in person we'll be able to um, build that bond and then she'll know like okay this is who I'm talking to this is who I'm sending letters to and stuff like that so the sponsorship is $30 a month, which some people will be like, that's a lot of money. But personally, I feel like it's worth it. It's supporting someone else's um, education and their necessities at home. And these are people who don't really have the opportunity to support themselves. So, you know, I don't have much money, but I do feel like something like this is worth it. So you're paying the $38 a month and then every once in a while they give an opportunity for you to send extra money as a gift. Um, I just got a catalog of specific gifts that I could send them. I didn't really look through it but I opened it and the first thing on there was like a goat. <laughs> like I could pay for them to have a goat. And so obviously that would provide food, probably milk, like stuff like that for them. Um, so I don't know. I think it's worth it so far. Um, I've sent a letter. I don't believe I got one back. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting for some updated pictures and stuff and for her to respond to my letters. Um, and I did look online. They do have a service trip coming up to Ethiopia and I really would like to go out there and see her, but it's a little too soon. It's in, I believe it's in like February or something like the end of February so I'm gonna wait for the next one but I'm definitely going out there to visit her so yeah if you're interested you can look it up you can sign up online which I was wishing I did that anyway because I think the processing time is a little bit faster when you do it online because things don't have to get mailed places and stuff like that so if you're interested I will link down below the um the website for Compassion International and if there are any questions that I didn't answer feel free to comment and ask me and I will answer them to the best of my ability but also they have a um, FAQ page a frequently asked questions page and um, most of my personal questions were answered on that site so yeah you can find out all your information there and um, yeah 
that's pretty much it. I'm so excited to get started and to eventually meet this beautiful little girl, Taya. Alright y'all, that concludes my Compassion International video. I will see y'all soon.